In Ghana at that time, uh, we were going to a French school, so a lot of the kids over there would have access to like Pokemon, yellow, red, all that stuff. But I think it wasn't until I left Ghana that I really started to like get homesick. And then um, I think that was just reflected in my artwork. Um, I wanted to draw things from home. I wanted to draw characters from home. I just really started to mine my memories, you know? Art in Ghana is everywhere, you know what I mean? It's like a dime a dozen. Um, things that people are kind of coveting now, like the shakily painted like barbershop signs and things like that, or just things that are just like littered our environment day to day. I was researching um, a lot more about the aesthetics of West Africa, you know? Um, there's that whole thing that like, Picasso is one of the greatest like deconstructive minds in the world, but his like, I didn't really start to define his voice until he saw like African mass. Like essentially what he's doing is like a heavily influenced version of the stylization of what West African masks are naturally. So um, it became really interesting for me to go back to the source material, which is more mine than Picasso's and <laughs> think about how that could influence my work. The underwater world, personally, has always had a lure because that it's equal parts science and equal parts fantasy. Letty, I did what you said. I got a plant from a mysterious eel guy. I'm sure what you got is fine. You gotta come see. Lemo, I said flowers, not a crazy whatever that is. The two characters are based on my sister and my brother because that was the relationship I grew up watching. Thinking back on us making decisions as kids, um, and I really wanted to explore that. I thought that could be really like pure, fun, and like genuine way to tell a story. It's just like kids sorting things out for themselves. Step one, pollute the world. Step two, destroy the guardian. Step three, do laundry. I need more power. It's not designed to be a PSA. It's designed to be like a show about kids going through their wacky adventures and lives because I think these kids are just trying to have a good time, but then there's a bad guy that's always in their way and they gotta deal with it. They gotta get over their interpersonal issues and deal with it. And then they can build their own utopia and it's as simple as that. When I was coming up with the show, I made a playlist called The Big Beat and there were a lot of Timbaland songs on it, and they were like, oh, he's affiliated with the thing, like, we could get him to do the theme song, and I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. Um, and then, as conversations kept going, I think Joel Silver, one of the um, audio guys, was like, yeah, no, it's really happening, like, for real, for real. Honestly, I just hope people laugh. I hope that every episode, you laugh once. I think that's it, you know? I hope that wh when everybody's watching it, like gradually we get more and more and more laughs out of the show and like connect to characters. The rest of the stuff, whether you get it, whether you don't, I don't really care. I just hope you laugh, yeah.